China ratchets up its arms protests around Taiwan to show its discontent over Taiwanese president's overseas trip. More threats are expected as Tsai Ing-wen is set to meet with U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy amid increasing U.S.-China rivalry. Our foreign affairs correspondent Chen Min-jong tells us more. Taiwan's president is currently in Central America for a 10-day trip aimed at shoring up ties with allies, and China is not happy. China's People's Liberation Army Eastern Theater Command said in a press release on Sunday that it recently carried out intensive maritime and air drills close to Taiwan. The drills are apparently in retaliation for Taiwan leader Tsai Ing-wen's planned meeting with Kevin McCarthy, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. The leader is expected to meet with McCarthy in Los Angeles on her way back to Taipei later this week. Last Wednesday, China threatened retaliation if the meeting were to take place. Should the leader of Taiwan engage with the Congress Speaker McCarthy during her transit in the U.S., it will be another provocation that seriously violates the One China principle, damages China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, and undermines peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. We firmly oppose this and will take resolute countermeasures to fight back. Speaking to the Global Times, Chinese military expert Fu Chen Shao said if the meeting goes ahead, China will respond in a way similar to when then U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan in August 2022. During Pelosi's meeting, China staged live fire drills around the island and stepped up military provocations. This time around, the experts said possible measures include large-scale exercises and combat patrols. Tsai arrived in Belize on Sunday afternoon following a three-day visit to Guatemala, where she offered more cooperation. China and Taiwan are vying for influence in Latin America, as Beijing does not allow other countries to maintain diplomatic relations with Taipei at the same time under the One China principle. Taiwan is currently left with only 13 countries that recognize it as a sovereign state, as Beijing continues to try and convince those countries to also end diplomatic relations with Taiwan. Chen Mingdang, Arirang News.